greetings from uh, Key Largo. So I'm here uh, savoring kind of the last uh, bit of time I'm gonna spend in the Keys. Um, and then I'm gonna be uh, meandering back up north and uh, uh, wherever I end up, I just kind of, uh, I'm like water, I just flow. So we'll see where uh, things take me. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of the trees I've seen down here. Um, specifically mangrove, mangrove trees. Um, the people around here might take them for granted because they see them all the time, but for me they were just a new tree and I'd never seen mangroves and so it was really fun just to explore them and kind of try to understand how they live and propagate and that type of thing. So they're, they're really a great example of, uh, you know, adaptation in nature. I mean, they're just, just excellently designed um, for that like coastal niche um, so it's kind of a rough rough place to make a living with the tides in and out so they have excellent root structures that they've uh, evolved and um, a, a neat way of uh, propagating with propagules and so I wanted to go through that I've taken some footage of you know various mangroves and whatnot and uh, just wanted to share that and uh, there's also some footage of me clambering around in a mangrove. So they're actually, it's a, when the tide's out, I guess you could do it when the tide's in too, but uh, either way, you're going to get your feet wet or mucky. Um, but it's fun just to climb around uh, on these mangrove roots. Um, it's good exercise and uh, it'll, it'll make you use muscles you don't typically use a lot. So um, anyway, so that's towards the end of the video. And... Uh, yeah, so enjoy. There's um, one other thing about the mangrove trees. There's there's three different types around here in Florida where I've been. There's the red mangrove trees, which is kind of the one right along the, the coastline, um, kind of the outermost towards the water. Um, and those just kind of have these really uh, great roots that they send down and, and anchor themselves. And then the, the black mangrove tree, very similar, but um, they also have those descending roots, but then they also send up other little rootlets that stick straight up. Um, and those, I, I think they, uh, what I've heard is those are uh, probably for um, just breathing a little bit, a little uh, better oxygen intake because they live in such a kind of an oxygen deprived environment as far as their roots. So they send up all these little rootlets, kind of like the bald cypress with their knees. So maybe it's um, a similar kind of adaptation. The white mangrove, I'm not sure I've seen them. Maybe I have, but I, I wasn't sure what I was looking at. So like I said, it's all new to me uh, down here. But anyway, it's just neat to explore the mangroves and um, they're very rich in wildlife and they're just really a critical plant for maintaining that ecosystem so um, anyway enjoy the footage and uh, here we go this was a good vantage point to kind of look at the mangroves uh, it's kind of on the back side with the, uh, the ocean on the other side um, so you can see just the all the roots and branches and it's just kind of a matrix of, of uh, branches and roots. And then you have these, uh, these are like some freshly growing roots that drop down from the branches. So that's what I found most fascinating is they, they can span quite a distance uh, to drop down in, in search of uh, water and a place to anchor. So there you can see it's attached to the, the branch way above and then they descend, descend down. That way they can just kind of crawl along in, in a way. If you look up into the, the trees, the branches, you can see these uh, acorn-like structures. So those are what produce the propagules. So they're not actually seeds. They're actually propagules, so it's a, an actively growing vegetative structure. And this one, 
you can see the roots on it. So this one had already dropped and uh, was a kind of anchored and growing a, a bit. And they get dislodged here and there, so this wasn't a big deal to use to show. So on this one, you can see on the other end of uh, where the roots come out, the opposite end, there's an actively growing um, meristem portion to the propagule that'll produce leaves. And then uh, on this particular tree, you could see from those acorn structures that the propagule actually grows from those. Those, those acorn type structures don't actually extend into the propagule. The propagule uh, grows from them and then eventually get released. And uh, with gravity, they just drop right down into the water. And here's one in the water. You can see they, they float appropriately with the heavy end down where the roots can contact the, the substrate. And then the leaves grow, grow from the opposite end. So here's one I just dropped in and you can see they, they're perfectly adapted to orient correctly. And then these are ones that are already anchored and growing. And uh, there's just hundreds, thousands of these constantly making a go at uh, producing a, a tree. So many seedlings in the mangroves. And I've been out on uh, some boat rides and you'll see these propagules just floating around all around the gulf and along the Keys. This was another good example of a, a really elongated uh, root that had descended. It's actually anchored, but you can see, I was trying to capture how, this is probably, I don't know, 12, 15 feet that it had uh, descended down to anchor that branch. This is an isolated tree. Occasionally you'll see that and you can kind of see the root structure there. I think this is a black mangrove. They have a little bit different root structures on them. You can see it's a very robust root with many uh, fingers coming off of it and this is uh in the mangrove so i actually climbed in the mangrove i was i was chasing a uh a bird that i'll show in a later video i was actually able to capture it, it wasn't the ibis it was another bird i'd never seen before so it drew me into the mangroves and uh, i wasn't going to give up so i ended up going full-on chameleon style into this mangrove to get the footage. Uh, so I took a little footage of me clambering around. This is at double speed. And um, it's quite a fun network of, of routes just to navigate and climb around on. It's like a big uh, jungle gym. So I had a lot of fun in here and uh, testing my balance and getting some good, good exercise. And I was fairly cautious because uh, I'm alone most of the time, so I didn't want to slip and fall. Quite impressive, isn't it? <laughs> well, there you have it. The wonderfully adapted mangrove trees of Florida. Quite wondrous. And we'll see you next time.